What's up, Outlaw Nation? How is everybody today? So one of the best series or the most successful series that the Outlaw Channel has had has been the where do you zero your rifle, um, especially on a low power variable optic or a red dot. Uh, we put a lot of work into those videos. I thought it was pretty cool. My original idea for those videos was for you to be able to see like 25, 50, 36, some people say 38, 42, it doesn't matter. But the, I, the main ones that I knew of and what those zeros did so that you could choose what you wanted to do. None of them were wrong. Everything has a different application. Some of the best shooters in this world has ever had have sworn by one of those zeros. All I wanted you to do was see the zeros, see the differences as close as you could, and then choose which one you wanted and then be able to just own yours. But a lot of you have asked me, what about my BDC? Or a lot of you just firmly, just straight commented, just use the BDC, the bullet drop calculator lines inside of there. Let me tell you why it's probably not gonna work for you. Uh, actually, why it's not gonna work for you. Here's why. Okay, so BDC, what this means is the bullet drop radical here is um, this is your where you zero your rifle, and then let's say you zero it at 100, and then this is 200, 300, 400, 500, okay? And then maybe here is 350, and this next one underneath there is 250. And look, don't get too caught up on this because it can also look like a Christmas tree, and I'm okay with that. It doesn't matter to me what it looks like for you, it could look like this Christmas tree. And it all ends up being the same thing in the bullet drop compensator, bullet drop reticles, okay? Doesn't matter to me how you choose it, but for now, let's use this one. So there's the bullet. The BC of this bullet comes into play in the bullet, the ballistic coefficient the velocity. I'm sure I spelled that wrong, just go ahead and hate on me. The velocity, and my handwriting is horrible, the velocity, the elevation, the, bar the barometric pressure, all of this, your elevation, all of this temperature plays into what did that factory when they calculated this do? More than likely what they did was we're gonna say we're gonna use a SS109 62 grain green tip out of a 16 inch barrel because that's what they think most of the public bought was a 62 grain green tip bullet and a 16 inch barrel. And then they said, where is most people gonna be? So when it comes to precision rifle shooting, zero to about 3,500 foot is one atmosphere. 3,500 to 5,500 is another. 5,500 to 7,500 is another. Um, 7,500 to 9,000 is another and 9,000 to, I think, about 13,000 right here is about where they stand. So if you have a 62 grain SS-109 out of a 16 inch barrel that was traveling, say, 3,000 feet per second, and you shot it at sea level all the way to 3,500 feet in the same temperature, more than likely they shot it, they try to get this in the, like median temperature that it's always gonna be. So they probably shot it at probably 75 degrees. But when you get up to, let's say you go to Alamogordo, New Mexico and it's 120 degree day, this bullet's not gonna hit here anymore, it's gonna hit up here. Let's say you're, you take this because now you go to Colorado and you get up in the deep Rockies and you get over 9,000 feet, this bullet's gonna hit way up here because the air is thinner. Let's say you get it at 3,500 feet, right? And it was uh, super cold. The bullet's gonna hit way down here because the, it's not going as fast. So it's never gonna hit on the BDC exactly the same anywhere. But what it is, is it's a great marketing tool to make you who doesn't shoot your rifle enough or put enough time in it to understand exactly where it's gonna hit. But what happens is it's pretty close and you get to believing so much that this whatever their name is scope with their bullet drop compensator in it, if you miss it 200 or 300, 
oh, that's probably you. You don't know what's going on that day. Something's wrong. Maybe your gun's messed up. Maybe you need to retighten the scope. Maybe it's the ammo. Maybe it's the bad ammo. No, the truth is the reticle is not calibrated to shoot. So you've got to take in what bullet you're shooting. How long is your barrel? Are you guys shooting pistols now with 11 and a half inch barrels? This is going to train, change absolutely drastically. The bullet's going to hit all over the place. So if you're trying to be a professional, right? You're trying to be a professional. And if this gun actually means something to you, meaning you're going to defend your life or somebody else's with it, or maybe it means something to you because you're going to take it out hunting. You're going to shoot a coyote, right? You need to understand if you're going to try to use a bullet drop compensator, everything needs to be the same in the bullet, the velocity, the elevation, the barometric pressure and the temperature and the speed of that round every time it goes out, that it is all exactly the same. See, if you switch from Lake City to Hornady, this doesn't matter anymore, right? This is what's important. There's so many variables to make this ballistic calculator that is inside of your scope in, in Stadia lines right here, that you guys think, oh my gosh, they're dead on, and they're only dead on for one bullet, one gun, one barrel twist, one distance, one temperature, one elevation, one velocity. What makes you a professional? A professional says, I'm going to, instead of getting a BDC, I'm gonna actually get MILS or MOA and I'm gonna learn them. And then I'm gonna put this into a ballistic calculator saying I zero this at 100 meters or 100 yards. I'm gonna get a ballistic calculator and what I'm gonna learn is, at this elevation, this distance, this gun, whatever it is, all of the things, the bullet, the velocity, the elevation, the barometric pressure, and the temperature, I'm gonna learn at this elevation that um, this first line might really be 130 yards, and the second line might be two, say, 22, um, and the third one might be 345. Now I'm becoming professional. And then whenever I switch atmospheres, I run my ballistic calculator. Yes, even for my 5.56. And yes, I have a conograph to be able to run it so I know where I'm hitting. See how LPVOs get a little more complicated than you thought that they were? Ooh, I got another video coming up on this. Stay tuned for the next one. But none of this on either one of these matters until you know how fast your bullet's going. And you don't know how fast your bullet's going because is it a button cut barrel? Is it a chrome molly barrel? Is it a steel barrel? Is it a match barrel? What barrel do you have? Because all of those are gonna run a little faster than each other. So your box may say 3000, but it's really running 3030 or it's really running 2910. You just have no idea where it's actually going to run until you actually get a conograph. So when I start saying I want to be precise with this gun, I'm getting a conograph. I know exactly which bullet I'm shooting. I know what my ballistic coefficient is of the bu bullet. I know the velocity. I know the elevation that I'm at, the barometric pressure, the temperature, everything around what I'm doing so that I know exactly what these are. And see, yes, in your brain, oh, that should have just been an even 200. No, it really doesn't matter. It really is 222. And I know at 222, as long as I hold the wind right, I'm going to hit exactly where I aim every single time. So I said all this to say this. Ballistic drop uh, reticles, they're, you know, don't hate on me, scope companies. They're a gimmick. They're just a gimmick. They're to make you feel better about your abilities. And they don't actually work. So, um, I mean, they can work if everything is perfect, but for overall, like the rule is they suck, right? You just think it's really good because you were talked into it or you seems like it's a really good idea that that company is telling you this, but they, they don't really work, okay? I know now you're gonna say something about, oh, what about Trigicon and their lines? Trigicon and their lines, one, they understood what rifle they were giving it to for the Marine Corps or for the Navy or whoever it is. They understood that back then, so they knew exactly the ammo, exactly the gun that they were gonna get. And Trigicon, in, in war, you're not trying to hit the target here. You're trying to hit the target somewhere. So if they were off a little bit, it's fine. They still hit the target. We're talking two different things here. Where do I say get? I say get a mill or MOA scope, it's up to you, and go find out exactly where your gun's hitting at these different distances, know where they are, and then be able to use them every single time if you're gonna use a 100 yard zero. Now there is an exception to that. Watch the next video for the exception.
All right, outlaws, how many of you use a BDC? Don't lie to me, put it down here. How many of you disagree? Go ahead and put it down here. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Outlaw out. <laughs>